Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be testing out and reviewing the newest foundation from Too Faced. This is their Born This Way Soft Matte Oil Control Foundation. This retails for 46 US dollars and you can find it in 30 different shades. Like I said, it is an oil control foundation. So if you are an oily T-zone type of person or just oily all over, this should be perfect for you. If you're the type of person that likes a matte finish, but you don't necessarily like the matte feel, trust me, I've had those foundations in the past because I do have a very oily T-zone. And so I do prefer a more soft matte or a matte foundation, but sometimes it feels a little too dry, you know? This is infused with hyaluronic acid. So it is going to keep us matte, keep us oil free, but not let us feel super duper dry everywhere along the face, you know? This is also going to deliver 12 hours of moisture. It is waterproof. It is sweat and humidity resistant, which I need here in the South, absolutely. It's a high performing foundation with up to 24 hours of wear. We're not gonna wear it for 24 hours, but we are gonna wear it all day today to see how it does. It has medium buildable coverage. So if you do need additional coverage, you can build on top of that to make it more of a full coverage foundation. It's free of parabens mineral oils. It's also vegan, gluten-free, and cruelty-free. So let's get into this. I'm going to start off with some swatches because I do have three of the shades. The top is warm beige. The middle shade is natural beige and the lightest shade all the way at the bottom. That's light beige. Now I did put them on my chest. As you can see, I have all three swatches there. I think I'm going to go with the center option, which is natural beige. I think that that one is blending in to my skin the best out of the three. All right, so now with the swatches out of the way, and now that we've determined which one we're gonna use, I've already gone ahead and color corrected the under eye area before getting started. Like I said, we're using natural beige. I'm gonna do one pump on the back of my hand, just like that, I'm gonna spread it out. And then that way we start off with medium coverage. And if I feel like I need a little bit more like here or there, we can always add a little bit more rather than trying to, you know, reverse it. So I'm just taking it with a beauty blender today. I'm just applying it. Oh yeah, I think the shade is going to work perfectly. And I'm only gonna do one side. That way you guys can see, like I'll bring you guys up close and give you a before and after. And you see how oily my T-zone is? Like you can see it with all of the lights just like bouncing off of my face. <laughs> I'm pretty oily nowadays. Oh, that's a little too much. A little too much on the chin. Now I do wanna apply not too, too heavy on the forehead, but enough because this is supposed to control my oil. And if I don't place anything on the forehead, it's not gonna do anything. Let's take care of this. I always, always end up applying foundation on my hair, <laughs> just always, but you do wanna blend it into your hairline, you know? Okay, so there's one solid layer of foundation, and that's the before, right over here, of course, and the after. Does absolutely deliver really beautiful medium coverage. It feels pretty lightweight, it doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't look heavy either. And it doesn't look, I don't know. I mean, I guess I'll have to wait for it to set a little bit, but initially putting it on immediately an all day oil control. So it's supposed to instantly start helping against like the oiliness. And I think, I don't think it's there yet, especially when you compare it to this side. I don't think it's there yet. So I'm going to give it a second. I do have a little tiny bit left on the back of my hand, so I think I am gonna try to build it up just a tad bit right here. So going back in with a little bit more right here. So it builds up nicely. 
It's not picking up any of the previous layer because some foundations do that and you ruin your entire look. But this one's not doing that. So that's, that's wonderful. It even really, like it did cover up my blemish right there. Obviously I'll need to go over it again with maybe a little bit more concealer, but it looks really, really nice. Let me bring you guys in nice and close so that you can get an up close before and after. All right, so this is my skin, just bare without anything on it. And this is my skin with the foundation. Look at how even that looks. It looks nice and hydrated. It looks really even and it does not look heavy at all. It did set a little bit onto the back of my hand and it is definitely soft matte as far as the finish. It's not like matte, like dry, dry matte. It feels more like a soft matte foundation, which I like because then that means that it's not going to feel super dry on the skin. It's gonna be matte, well, like a flexible matte. Okay, let's get the forehead, get the hair out of the way. Yeah, it's covering up my blemishes really nicely too. Like to the point where I don't necessarily feel the need to add concealer, like much concealer or any. Okay, and just like with the other side, I'm gonna finish this pump and build it up right here a little bit. All right, initial thoughts, I like it. I really like the way that it's sitting on my skin. I like what it's doing to my skin. I love the fact that it is concealing my blemishes all on its own. So I'm gonna give it a few minutes to completely set to what the true finish is, which is matte, and then determine whether or not I need to set this. So yeah, let me wait a few minutes and I'll be right back. All right, I have uh, sat here for a good like five minutes. It, I, I do still see just a tiny, tiny bit of shine, but it is controlling it. I mean, you know, I haven't set it or anything and I feel like my lights are not bouncing off of my forehead as much as they were. It is setting to like an oil controlled type of finish, like matte, I guess is what you would call that, obviously. Um, but I am going to set it a little bit with the new Born This Way Soft Blur Powder. So I'm just gonna grab a little bit and set the forehead. Here's like the little 11 right there because that one loves to show its face later. So we're gonna set it like that. And then down the nose and along just the side here, just to blur things out a little bit. Ooh, look at that. It definitely blurred out my pores. Don't look at the under eyes. They are so dry right now. I filmed a reel yesterday and I had to, I was swatching blushes, like cream blushes, these new cream blushes from Lala's, which are so good, so good. They sent me all of them, which are, they're six. I can only do two at a time, two swatches at a time, because I only have two cheeks on my face. And so anyway, they are cream blushes and I had to wash off my face, put it back on, do the next two, wash off my face, put the makeup back on, do the next two, and my under eyes are, were like crying by the end of it. So I'm still recovering from that reel, but it'll be up soon, hope you guys like it. Anyway, so don't look at the under eye area today, okay? We are just concentrated on this foundation and my gosh, I love this powder. <laughs> Holy cow. Everything just looks so much smoother. Like pores, where did they go? You know, it just looks good. All right, I'm not mad I said it. 
I actually really like that powder. So anyway, it is set. We are good to go. Uh, I just have to finish the rest of my face. All right, I am back. Makeup is done. We are ready for the day. It is currently, what time is it? It is 10.33 in the morning. Of course, you guys know, I plan on wearing this all day long and I am gonna be coming back halfway through the day to show you some close-ups under natural lighting and to see how the foundation is doing. But so far, I really like it. I was able to blend out my cream blush along with my cream bronzer and it did not move underneath, so you are able to blend things out on top of it and it's not gonna go anywhere, it's not gonna budge. It feels very, very nice, lightweight. It's evening everything out and hopefully it does keep me pretty shine free. I mean, right now we are pretty shine free. So let's see how the day goes. Anyway, high humidity today for sure. So that's why I was excited to test it today. And it is currently 81 degrees outside. So the humidity, what is it? 78% humidity right now. It's not raining but it is going to, and it's gonna stay really nice and hot. So let's see how this wears. Anyway, I'll be back in a few hours for a quick midday check-in. All right, I am back for a quick midday check-in. It is currently 2.59. So I've gone over the half way mark, but it's okay. I have been in and out of the house all day long. I'm getting ready to go and grab one of my children from school. So anyway, I'm gonna be out even more and it's hot, okay? It is hot, it is humid. We are feeling it. Anyway, this is what the foundation looks like up close. This is the left side of my face and the right side of my face. This is the forehead situation, okay? I don't see like my little 11 being accentuated or the foundation breaking up on that part of the face. I also don't really see a whole lot of oil hanging out along my forehead. And this is the area around the mouth. I mean, so far, so good, I would say. So far, so good. Um, I will continue to wear this for about another four hours or so just to give it a good, solid, long day. Um, and hopefully we end the day like this. So far, I really like it. So anyway, I'll see you back here in a few more hours for my end of day check-in. All right, I am back for my final check-in of the day. What time is it? It is 7.05. So I've had this on for a solid, what is it, like almost nine hours? Now, before I get into what I think about this foundation after wearing it for an entire day in very, very humid climate, okay? Because I was outside for quite some time, sweating, it was hot, it was humid. And so I really put it through the test. Like I really did put this foundation through it today. I don't know it was gonna be as humid and as hot as it ended up being, but it was a good thing because it really put this like through it. You know what I mean? It really put this foundation through it. So anyway, let me um, zoom you guys in before I get into what I think about the foundation. I'm gonna zoom you in so that you can take a good up close look kind of all around the face after what, like roughly nine hours of wear. So here is the forehead up close and personal. It does look a little shiny to me. Here is the left side of my face. Now with this side, I have not noticed anything wearing off, like the foundation. It's pretty much stayed in place there. And it also stayed in place over here on the right side. This is the situation around the mouth and the nose. And I am pretty surprised that it's not more like worn off around the nose. Obviously it wore off here and it wore off here because of my glasses, that's just where they sit. Um, and it always happens when I wear my glasses. So not too surprised by that, but I am pretty like pleasantly surprised that I didn't lose coverage all over the nose because I am, well, I'll get into that in a second, but didn't really lose a ton of it. I did lose here but not all over. And around the mouth, mm, it didn't settle. It didn't really break up. So now that you've gotten a close up, let's go over what I think of the foundation. I like it. 
I really like it. I put it through a lot today. I was outside in the humidity and heat. It was like 100% humidity at times because it was raining, but it wasn't raining heavy. And so the rain that was landing, since it is hot outside, it was like high of 89 or something, 90 maybe. It was evaporating right away. And so I felt like I was in a sauna. Okay, for a long period of time. It was like almost an hour when I was outside waiting for my son. And it's just, it was a lot, okay? I felt like the beads of sweat just coming, like dripping down my back. It was not a fun time. However, the foundation, I was really expecting for my forehead, my T-zone overall to just be and look a lot oilier than it does. And I'm surprised that it doesn't look excessively oily like it otherwise would. Like any other day, any other foundation that I've, well, maybe not any other, but most of my foundations, if I would have worn them the way that I did today, which is just like foundation, no mattifying primer or anything like that, they would look really oily. Like my forehead would just be slipping and sliding everywhere. But because this is an oil control foundation, I found that it doesn't look excessive. Does it look a little shiny? Yes, it absolutely does. Did it keep me completely matte all day? No, it didn't, but I did put it through a lot of sweat, a lot of humidity and heat, and it. I think that it really did well through all of that. Will I continue to use it? Absolutely. I like the fact that you can build it up. So because I'm more of a medium coverage gal than a full coverage gal now. And so I like that I can wear this pretty much all day, every day if I choose, and it's going to help minimize the oiliness. It doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't look excessive. It evens everything out very nicely. And uh, I like the fact that you can build it up. So for all of those reasons, and also it sits really, really nicely underneath like creams that you apply. I mean, I am doing a lot of like cream bronzers lately and I've been doing a lot of like cream blushes. And so I was kind of concerned about that because it is more of a matte finish formula. So I thought that maybe putting like the cream on top of it may make it kind of glide around or get patchy. It did not do that. It stayed in place. Everything blended out really nicely on top of the foundation and it lasted. It really did last. And so I am happy with it. I will continue to wear it. So if you're on the fence about it or if you're like, mm, I'm curious, but I'm not really sure, I'd say give it a try. You know, give it a try. I think you'll like it, especially if you tend to be more on the oily side like me, especially along the T-zone always oily there. So that completes today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I truly hope that you enjoyed today's product review and that you found it helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on future videos. And also don't forget to follow me over on Instagram where I absolutely love to interact with you guys. As always, take care and I will see you all in my next video. Mwah. Bye.